puso sa asawa ang iya na responsibilidad to be supportive sa iya na bana. The third key to a successful marriage is to be committed to a cooperative relationship. Husband and wife must do the part. Siling pagani uno nga ang mag-asawa gitinahan lando nga pareho sa ning uh, duha ka baka nga nagaguyod sang karo o sang rado always gitinahan isa lang sila ka direction. Kaya kung hindi lang isa ang ilang direction, di, wala sa tukpa ang ilang adi. The third key to a successful marriage is to be committed to a cooperative relationship. The fourth and the last. The fourth and the last. The fourth key to a successful marriage is to be committed to a Christ-centered relationship. Ang mga siyang pinaka-importante sa kanya. Be committed to a Christ-centered relationship. Roy and Regine, ang ako lang ng hamba sa inyo is, you need to make sure that as kamo mag-aumpisa to build your own family, gikinahan lang, you need to make it sure that Christ will be the center of your lives. Christ will be the center of your home and Christ will be the center of your relationship. Amoni siya ang pinaka-importante sa tanan. Be committed to a Christ-centered relationship. Because once ara si Cristo Jesus on the very center of our lives, on the very center of our home, and on the very center of our relationship, I am sure, I am very much sure, nga ang tanan mangin maayo, and also, mangin successful, ang atong na marriage life. Four keys to a successful marriage. Be committed to a permanent relationship. Second, be committed to a faithful relationship. Third, be committed to a cooperative relationship. Fourth and the last is to be committed to a Christ-centered relationship. May God bless you. <coughs> Seeing that no moment is without money, we ask that you take this marriage as a beginning of your lives together. Today signifies the creation of new home, a new family for both of you. May you be fulfilled by each other's love and friendship. May you be overjoyed by the promises you are about to make and the life together you will create. Remember that in every marriage, there are good and bad times. Times of joy and times of sorrow. Marriage is a journey, a time of adventure and excitement enhanced by the love, trust, dedication, and faith you share in one another. You are mature enough to know the difference between dreams and also realities. You have youth and hope. You also know that good times are sweeter than when shared and that difficult times are comfort and more together. Continue to work to build a foundation that will support the lasting relationship that is marriage. And may the promises you make to one another be lived out to the end of the, your days. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest joys, but today is the day the journey begins. I request na ako na itong couple to please me. I request na ako na the best man Microphone, please. 
Roy and Redeem, Christ calls you into union with them and with each other. I ask you now in the presence of God and this congregation to declare your intent. Face each other, please. Hold hands together. Tulukay ka mo sa mata at mata. Masakay na ka mo kay muna ni ang ulahing itsura na makita mo sa pagsalot sa kadlaw. Kaya ang pinakauna man ng itsura pag bugtaw mo sa aga, dapat masanay na kang duwa. Roy, will you have a to be your wife? Will you love and honor her constantly and forsaking all others? Do you promise to keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? Do you promise to affirm her, respect her, and care for her during times of joy and hardships? Do you commit yourself to share your happy feelings of happiness and sadness with her as your very own helpmate, lover, and friend? Do you so promise? Yes, I do. Regine? <laughs> Will you have Roy to be your husband? Will you love and honor him constantly and forsaking all others? Do you promise to keep yourself only for him as long as you both shall live? Do you promise to affirm him, respect him, and care for him during joy, times of joy and hardships? Do you commit yourself to share your feelings of happiness and sadness with him as your very own helpmate, lover, and friend? Do you so promise? Yes, I do. <laughs> to both of you. Would you also promise to put God in the center of your home and in your relationship? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Can I to be stand also? When a man and a woman marry, they form a new family. The Gospel of Mark states it this way. From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall live his father and mother and to be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So that they are no longer two but one flesh. A man and a woman live their respective homes but they do not live the relationship with their parents and families. This relationship takes on a new dimension. It is important for the bride and for the groom to feel the support of their parents. And so, we will ask both the parents of Roy and Regine, do you give your blessing to this marriage? To the couple, Roy and Regine, as you contemplate your vows to each other, realize that from this day forward, your destinies shall be woven or shall be forever in Turkey. You have declared here today your intention to join this venture of faith and love. You may not declare your mutual vow and your word to each other. Pabilin na tigdog ang ato ni mga parents as Ang aton ng mga ang aton ng couple will exchange on their wedding vows.